Hi all, it's Ben bringing you another product review. So this one is for a gaming office chair by DPS, I guess it's damage per second. We found this at Costco, so we went ahead and picked one up and it has like an adjustable headrest. It has adjustable armrest, lumbar support, and it, you know, tilts back and forth so you can relax and stretch back. It also has five legs for good stability. And as I understand, with all chairs, well, including this one, it can move up and down to adjust for your height. So I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up and then also put it together. And we'll I'll give it a test run, let you know how, I, how it is and what I think. We found it at Costco. I guess it was kind of on sale, but somewhat not on sale. Maybe it was just regular price, but we'll just go find out how this is. So here is everything unwrapped. The seat base, the headrest, the seat plate. The back cushion, they pointed out that that center thing might shift during shipping. So you can just adjust this little center core thing, this lumbar support. You can kind of move it around a bit. This is a seat cushion, left and right armrest, the telescoping support cover rod, and the five caster wheels that go on the base. They also included all the screws you need, and this is a very, very nice Allen key. This is like a step above Ikea. This is something you can throw in your toolkit and you'll be good for, well, forever. It's pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. The instructions are provided and it's pretty straightforward. You're going to start off with installing the wheels or the casters onto the, onto the base. Then installing the armrest to the seat cushion the seat plate to the seat cushion. That's the thing you're gonna be sitting on. Then you attach the, uh, pretty much secure it, and then attach the back cushion. Then this thing goes on to the telescoping thing, telescoping cover, the telescoping support thing that goes to the wheels and the casters, the headrest, and then you're done. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap this bad boy together. So this is a DPS damage per second chair that we found at Costco. It's fully assembled now. We tried it out at Costco and it's pretty nice. I like that the uh, seat cushion is wide enough because sometimes it chops off a little short on some chairs. This one's pretty nice. The armrests are adjustable. Both sides. Headrest is adjustable. I like a good headrest because if it's too low, usually I kind of lean back and I don't get any head support. It's got good lumbar support and it swivels pretty nicely. It's on caster wheels so you can roll around nicely. Also, the height adjustment is on this lever here. So I have the lowest setting. Just stand up, pull the lever up, and it goes up. If I need to if I have a table that's a little bit shorter, or I'm a short person, I don't want my feet dangling, I'll just lower it. Cool thing about this is also it has a tilt feature. So this little lever here, so right now, I can't tilt back, there's resistance, and if I want to tilt back, I pull this lever up, and now I can tilt back a lot. So if you're feeling like you had a hard day, you just lean back and snooze. Also, if you want to increase the tension on this tilt, tilt mechanism, it's that little circular drum, uh, circular device down here, I'll show it in the video, right up there. You just turn it up or turn it down, it makes a resistance on this tilt. A little bit more, a little bit less. Uh, I just want to point out, I also like this because it's kind of a smooth, probably fake leather, but good enough for a few years of usage. I can also put my feet up because I do that a lot and while well, I'm working. So we found this at Costco, it seemed pretty affordable, and we thought uh, we'd give it a go. So anyways, you probably wonder what it looks like in white. And just like that, it's in white. Pretty sweet, huh? It's, not, it's a different chair. We bought two chairs, one white and one black. Uh, 
Just want to note that the weight capacity per the rated is 275 pounds. So if you're over 275, supposedly this chair won't support you. And overall, it's uh, pretty nice. Overall, assembly time was about, I would say, 10 to 15 minutes. It does. It comes together pretty easily. As you saw, there's only 13 screws. Everything else snaps back together. They include the tool that you need, so you don't really need any tools. So anyways, thanks for watching.